Well, good morning, everyone, and, and welcome. Uh, it's a great, uh, great day, and I start looking around the room and see so many friends. I also see a bunch of people that aren't on this list, so um, if I miss introducing anyone, forgive me, but I'll go ahead and say Dick Miller while I'm looking at him. Uh, the, um, it's a big day for Belmont. Uh, we've got a couple of things that we want to talk about today. Um, but first, let me just welcome some special guests that are here this morning. Mayor Dean, Mayor Dean's here with us. <laughs> David, uh, David Minigan's here with us. He'll, he'll be a part of our program. Um, and Davis is here along with the mayor's daughter, Walla, and son, Rasco, back here. Welcome to the, all of you. Um, also, um, Lindsay Millward, I didn't see. Lindsay, where are you? There she is, who is the president of Belmont's Eco Club. Uh, she succeeds uh, Katie Keist, who was present last year. And as you came in, you may have seen the video playing out there uh, about just the incredible activity and the leadership that our students uh, provide to our sustainability efforts. Uh, we have some members of our political science and history faculty here today. Uh, welcome to you, as well as Dean Bryce Sullivan. Um, Judy's here somewhere. And um, also, um, Judy's our earth scientist of the, of the family team. And my son Rob's back there, uh, who is uh, the environmental conscience of me. And, and an unpaid, I want to make sure everybody gets this, unpaid uh, consultant to Belmont. I do not hire my family, OK? That's the headline. Uh, but Rob has been uh, really great uh, advising us all through this process, uh, part of what we'll talk about today. Also from the mayor's office, Greg Hynode is here. Um, I, Dick, Dick Miller, as I've already introduced, uh, Daryl Lambert, I'm not sure if, if Janet's here, but uh, I, she, she's not here, but she had a, a lot to do with uh, some of the work we'll be talking about today. Um, Sandy Dickerson is here. I saw Sandy from ESA. Welcome. Uh, R.C. Matthews' team is here. Uh, Walker Matthews, Dan Calhoun, Jackie McPeak, who I'm sure is uh, in the in shadows somewhere, but who superintended this job. And Jackie did such a uh, marvelous job. And Michelle Yeager is here as well. And also the environmental consultant, uh, Eric Schieffer is over here from uh, S S R C X. How do you pronounce a small X as compared to a big C? But S S R C X. But thank you. <laughs> okay, S S R C X. Uh, <laughs> but we have two, um, two major reasons that we're here today. Um, and you know, as Mayor Dean said back in his campaign uh, eight years ago, and I've not seen a, a slogan this good yet. I'm sure the candidates are still working on it, but it's all connected. I re that was your theme, right? I mean, and you paid for it, and it's <laughs> but it's stuck, and it is all connected, and it has been all connected during his term as leadership. Uh, leadership. And today, you'll see we've got two, two major announcements to make, and they're, and they're all connected. They, they come together, I think, really, really nicely. So first, some big news about this building we're standing in. Um, Mayor Deans consistently made sustainability a priority in his administration, and early in his tenure, he formed the Green Ribbon Sustainability, or the Green Ribbon Committee on Environmental Sustainability, and set the goal to make Nashville the greenest city in the southeast. We tried to do our part at Belmont. That committee's recommendations, including challenging local businesses and organizations to build lead sustainable construction. We heard that challenge, and we heard that from our students as well, their challenge to us. And again, the video playing today, if you get a chance, it's seven minutes long. Stand there and watch it. It's pretty remarkable about what has been accomplished on this campus in the last several years. Uh, previously, we achieved gold LEED certification, which is the second highest level on the Baskin Law Building. We're also expecting, and 
uh, working hard to achieve gold for the academic dining building. I try not to say Budak because it's our new academic and dining building, which will, uh, for now, is called Budak. Um, and we expect gold for that. But today, we've taken our efforts to a whole new level. Uh, today, we're here uh, to announce that we've taken them to the highest level that's, a, that's possible with LEED certification, and that is the LEED Platinum certification for this building, the Wedgwood Academic Center. Uh, this designation represents the only new construction in Nashville to ever be designated LEED Platinum. It is the only, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the only university building in Tennessee of new construction to be designated LEED Platinum as well. And so we're obviously very proud of that. Uh, it didn't come easy. And to explain this special designation and, and the difficulty or the, the opportunities we had to work together in achieving it is the lead, uh, uh, the principal architect and lead architect on this and so many of our projects for 15 years, we've been working with David Minigan from ESA, uh, a treasured partner for Belmont. Would you tell them more about that, David? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Fisher. At 186,000 square feet, the Wedgwood Academic Center is the largest single building here on Belmont's campus. It's home to more than 50 undergraduate programs in three distinct colleges. It houses 20 state-of-the-art science laboratories, over 30 classrooms, study rooms, and seminar rooms, as well as departmental and faculty offices, two food service venues, and a chapel. A chapel, by the way, that my daughter would love to be married in next spring, so. <laughs> April, April 2nd, but that. Everybody's invited. Everybody's. <laughs> Today we're here to celebrate the sustainability uh, initiatives of this building in Belmont's campus. So what's so sustainable about this building? Well, it starts with a building that's on an urban site with existing utilities and infrastructure with five levels of parking underground, making it a very efficient use of land. It has over 18,000 square feet of green vegetated roof, some of which you can see right out the, the window, as well as 23,000 square feet of highly reflective roof, both of which reduce the heat island effect on the environment. It has a 42% reduction in potable water usage with the, the uh, plumbing fixtures, flush and flow fixtures, saving 200,000 gallons of water annually. And the energy consumption reduction of 38% over a baseline criteria for buildings of this type and size, which translates into $155,000 of annual energy savings. That's good. 77% of the construction waste was diverted from landfills during construction. And 44% of all the materials used in the building came or were manufactured within 500 miles of the location of the site, which reduces the amount of fossil fuels used in transportation. Now, I've got 11 more pages of this, and I'm not going to go through that. <laughs> but this building is very sustainable. The mechanical systems are phenomenal. When we first started investigating the mechanical systems and were able to pair a, a VRF system with a chill beam system and the, the mechanical engineers on this and our whole team was phenomenal in, in coming up with a, a plan for this. It's a very large building, but the scale of this building is not what is most significant. The fact that this is a lab building, which usually is considered to be an energy hog, and the fact that it is a classical traditional style building which one normally doesn't think of as supporting sustainable efforts. That this building could achieve the highest level of sustainability awarded by the U.S. G Green Building Council, that's what's significant. We continue to celebrate Belmont's commitment to sustainability, but in doing so, we really need to talk about how this has come about. ESA has had the opportunity to work on campus at Belmont since the mid-80s. 
but as Dr. Fisher mentioned, we've had the distinct pleasure of working on campus nonstop for the last 15 years during this period of growth. And the, the honor of working very closely with Dr. and Mrs. Fisher. And here's what you need to know today, is that Bob and Judy Fisher, I guess along with Rob too, are champions of sustainability and they set the bar really high. They are committed to high performance. And in a day when it's pretty cool to be sustainable, it's not about being cool. It's about doing the right thing. It's about being good stewards of the dollars that are spent here and of the environment. Each and every decision that affects sustainability, energy consumption, the quality of the materials, all of these decisions are being made for the right decisions. Now, designing and building these buildings is not always easy, and sometimes it's very hard, right, Dan? But when we, at the end of the day, when we look back at the decisions that are made and know that they are thoughtful, that they are scrutinized, and they are about creating a campus that will continue to prepare students for generations to come. The commitment to sustainability is shared by the entire administration, the faculty, staff, students, student organizations, and creates an environment and culture of living sustainability. You see, it doesn't end with a plaque on the wall that says mission accomplished. It's about Belmont's continued commitment to the future. So this building has, in fact, received the highest level of sustainability, LEED Platinum. And on behalf of the entire design and construction team, I would like to present to Dr. Fisher a very heavy but beautiful Lee Platinum Award. So I want Dan to. Uh, He's the only one that can really hold I, it. I want Dan to do the trophy lift with me. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Hold it up. He can do that in higher. Yeah. Well, thank you, David, and it, it is a, it is a thrill, and that is a, and. Eric, thank you. Uh, it, it is, as you know, uh, a very meticulous and involved and complicated and um, front end loaded with expenses, but long term, a really good thing to do for uh, for the right reasons, as David said, uh, which is saving money. I love I love saving money. I love cost control. Um, but um, this is a point where we're going to shift just totally shift gears, but it's not really a total gear shift because again, it, it, it is all connected. And I wanna talk about Carl Dean for just a few minutes. Um, the LEED Platinum Award that we just uh, recognized is really something that I also wanna share with the mayor and share with his uh, team's leadership as a result of their focus on sustainability, it raises the awareness uh, throughout the whole community. He's inspired more than just green building initiatives. Uh, his major environmental accomplishments to date include creating the city's first comprehensive open spaces plan. Um, it's allowed the city to acquire over 1,500 acres and probably still going. Uh, of undeveloped land that it will be permanently preserved as parkland and long term. Those things, you know, I look at the things that, that were done before us and the Percy Warners and all that, and those of you who use those parks know what a treasure they are. And, and, and you also know how scarce they are, and they will become more and more scarce. And Mayor Dean has done so much in that regard. He's also addressed the need to improve water, sewer, stormwater infrastructure throughout the or through the creation of the Clean Water Infrastructure Program. Um, he's, in his time as mayor, championed public safety, championed pu public education. Um, and as we look out these windows, and you can count the cranes, and I do, at the peak there were 13, I think we're down to nine, although we've got a temporary one today that we should count. Uh, new 
more efficient air handling system for the massive building, by the way, right now happening. Um, but as we look out and, and, and look at the Music City's growth and the development of recent years, Belmont has greatly benefited from that. We're, our growth at Belmont is so connected to the growth of Nashville. And if you go down in, in our building today, um, in, in the Freeman Hall where I work and the students coming in for tours and talk to them about why they're here. Uh, they're here for Belmont, but they're here for Nashville too. They want to be a part of this whole community. And no one's more responsible for the success of this city's growth in the past decade than Mayor, Mayor Dean. The seven candidates who've come to Belmont's campus recently to debate, and they are all outstanding candidates, um, I think they would agree they've got some big shoes to fill. Uh, Mayor Dean, your work on behalf of education, economic development, public safety, and the environment, and the overall quality of life for Nashville's citizens is unparalleled, and we're so grateful for your service. And of course, what many people are wondering is, what's next for you? What will you do next? I'm already smiling. <laughs> and that brings me to our second and even bigger announcement for today. I'm very pleased to share with you the news that this fall, Mayor Carl Dean will have a new title of Distinguished Professor of History and Political Science at Belmont University. We're so thrilled to have him join our Belmont community, and I'm so excited for our students who will have the opportunity to work with you, the opportunity to be in the classes that you would teach and the seminars on leadership that you will lead, uh, to be around you at the, in Belmont and to learn from all that you've done. His character, his expertise, and, and his humility, frankly, um, this is really an incredible, cool, and cool coup for, for Belmont. And we just decided we'd uh, pick this spot and shout it from the rooftops that Mayor Dean's coming to Belmont. Welcome. Well, thank you, Bob. And um, in addition to the folks you recognize, I want to recognize Sal Solomon, my, he's the director of law, an old friend of mine who we worked together in the Public Defender's Office and now working together again. Um, first, I want to say thank you for those kind words and thank you for um, the partnerships we've formed together over the course of the last um, eight years. Um, I suppose from now on we'll be meeting in your office instead of mine. Um, <laughs> you know, Bob has been an incredible leader for, uh, for Belmont and for Nashville. Um, I often talk about how during the depths of the recession that uh, the, the happiest place to come was here because there was always a groundbreaking, there was always a, a ribbon cutting, there was always something going on. And Bob built so much that I felt we had to uh, build a, a huge convention center just to keep up. Um, <laughs> the LEED certification, platinum certification, is impressive and it really goes to show that Belmont is a, a very responsible member of our community and this type of, of uh, recognition goes a long way to making us the greenest city in the southeast. Um, I was here recently uh, working on encouraging the debate commission to come here again. Um, you know, as, as you know, they were here in um, 2008, and uh, President Obama apparently liked the experience so much he's been back three times in the last year and a half. Um, I'm deeply honored uh, to be asked to join the faculty here at Belmont. Um, the opportunity uh, to work with our cities and states and nation's future leaders is a big responsibility and it's something I, I will take very seriously. Um, I, am, I will be honored to be part of this community. Um, I think this is a chance for me to, um, to be reflective, but also to work with young people and also to be involved in, uh, in current events that are happening around our, our city and our state. Um, I'm a big believer in partnerships between the public and private and nonprofit sectors. Those have been really the key things that have kept the city moving forward during d difficult economic times. Belmont has been a big part of that. I think the willingness to invest in ourselves as a city, 
uh, whether we're investing in ourselves privately or through nonprofits or through the public sector, uh, has been vital for this city's development. Tackling tough issues is important to me. I think it's better to face issues head on instead of kicking them down the road. And I'm also um, a big believer and want to work with Belmont on embracing the diversity that is taking place here in Nashville. We have a really incredible city. And when you stop and think about how this city has evolved over the last 10, 12 years, how we've gone from 2% foreign-born to 12% foreign-born, when you feel the entrepreneurial energy in this city, the future here is really bright. And so, as I say all the time, um, this city is going to be a better place 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. And Belmont's going to be a big part of that, and I'm honored uh, to be involved with Belmont. Thanks, Bob. I'll head to the bookstore and get some T-shirts. <laughs>